Okay, you guys. Today on the menu is... I just wanted to give you a little... Oh, yeah. Olive garden. Let's do this. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have Olive Garden in the house. I have been craving Olive Garden so bad. So um, my husband was like, let's just go out to dinner. And I was like, well, no, I really want to upload. It's been like four days. I really want to. He goes, well, just do it a lot at Olive Garden. I was like, how about not? How about you go eat Olive Garden and I'll eat at home? <laughs> Anyways, okay. <sighs> let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this food. Bless this food and sanctify it by your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Always say your prayers. I'm starving. Okay. Um. Oh, I got the... Oh, geez, see, I'm so like... Uh, fettuccine Alfredo breadsticks. They're potato soup. I don't know what they call it. They call it something weird. I got a little extra um, Alfredo sauce for my bread because, yeah. And I asked for the ranch instead of the Italian dressing. And here's more breadsticks because I love ranch. Everybody knows that? Okay. Mmm. So hungry. I missed everybody. Whoa. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well. Fantastic. Mm. Get right down to business, right? I have a napkin here. Hope it's not really super loud and annoying. I try to get a paper towel. I mean, a Jesus, a paper towel, a towel. But I was like, whatever. Mm. Oh, so good. I just have water. So, <laughs> I wanted to share with you guys um, a little story of when me and my friend went to Vegas. Um, yeah, so that's about, I'm going to tell you guys what happened. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. It's hot. Oh, it's so funny. Okay, before I get into the story, I'm going to tell you guys. <clears throat> when I was um, in there, I started. I was doing tell by. The beginning of the video I filmed me walking in and I filmed um, me in there well <coughs> this lady came up to me and she was like she said uh, as I was filming she goes um, excuse me can I ask you a question I said yeah she goes are you okay I said yeah why God so good I could eat fettuccine no wait the alfredo sauce and pour it on anything I'll eat it that's edible of course but I said yeah I'm, <clears throat> I'm fine and she goes I I said why she goes because um I noticed you filming and I just didn't know if I was gonna have to be a witness to something I started laughing so hard <laughs> I said, oh no, I'm just, um, I'm actually doing this for YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. And she goes, oh, what? 
She goes, really? I said, yeah. And she goes, oh my God, what is it? So she sat there with her phone right then and there and got my channel and she pulled it up and she's like, oh, but it was, it was really sweet. She's like, I'm going to subscribe. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, there's, there's just YouTube, nothing big or anything. Mm. Anyways, so. <laughs> Mmm. So good. Mm. I think this was back in like 2012, I'm going to say. Um, yeah. Mmm. This is before I married uh, my husband I'm with now. Okay, me and my ex-husband, we were just divorced and you know, it's just, this is the first summer that No. First summer? So I'm trying. Anyways. My ex-husband got the kids for the summer. So I was a free woman um, I didn't have any kids for the whole summer and so I told my friend we were talking one day and I said hey let's let's do something fun and crazy I don't have any kids and um, I said they're worth their dad for six weeks she's like okay hell yeah so <clears throat> we decided to go to Vegas right My aunt lives there, so we, we stayed with her. We didn't have to pay hotel or anything. So we literally stayed there for the whole six weeks just with my my aunt at her her house. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It was so fun, but it was one crazy night. Mm. So one night, um, we're like, all right, let's do this. Let's go out. Well, I had my car there because we drove. Um, she flew and I drove because <clears throat> I lived in, um, I lived in Utah at the time. So it was like a hour and a half drive from where I lived at the time to where my aunt lived in Vegas. So, drove there. My friend flew in. And so we're getting ready and we're getting all dressed up. And we go out and we hit the gas station. Uh, yeah, a gas station first. And she's like, oh, well, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get um, some cigarettes and some uh, something to drink. I said, okay. Mmm, that was really good. So I stayed in the car and she came out with um, cigarettes and Mad Dog 44. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Mad Dog 44, but it's intense. And I was like, what is that? I said, is that alcohol already? And I started laughing and she goes, she goes, yeah, we're getting this party started. So I was like, oh, okay. But I never heard of it before. It was really stiff, but it's really good. I was like, "All right, well, let's do this." So we were taking like shots back and forth in the parking lot while we're smoking a cigarette, and you know we're getting ready to go hit the, up the casinos. So anyway, we both finished the bottle together, and. Um, we get in the car. Literally, it was across the parking lot, so I wasn't like drinking and driving. But <clears throat> we get in the car, and we pull over to the parking lot next to us, and we get out and we start like you know hitting up the casinos and stuff. Um, I'm putting this soup too. Mm. 
as the night goes on, as the night goes on, you know, we're like drinking it up, um, going to a casino's, laughing, having such fun. And then towards the end of the night, we're like, okay, well, we're done. This was fun, but let's go. We're going to shows and, you know, stuff like that. Vendors, different, like, um, we went to one, I think it was one, uh, player act. It was really, really interesting. It was like clowns of some sort. I don't know, but. So we're walking down, um, you know, Las Vegas Strip, and these three guys come up to us, and they're all like, hey, hey, you know, they're talking to us, and they're like, hey, you want to go party? Mm. And my friend's like, yeah, yeah, where? And I said, sure, you know. So he's like, we have a um, we have a house down the road, and I said no. I said no. We're we're not gonna go to a stranger's house. I said if you guys want to hang out and party, that's okay. But maybe we can like get a room because I am not going to a stranger's house. And I like kind of nudged her, you know, like what? no. <laughs> so she's like, oh okay, yeah. So he he's like, well let me go talk to my friends, um, see what they want to do. So he goes and talks to them and he comes back and he's like, he's like, oh yeah, they said that they want to go get a hotel room and hang out. I said, okay. So we went, you know, back across the street to where we parked the car and we got in and they got in and then we're going to find the closest, not, ho not a hotel motel. So, we're driving and we see one and we pull over and it was like maybe two blocks down because they're like everywhere, you know, in Vegas. <clears throat> so, we get out and then my friend, she gets out with these two guys and she's like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go check us in with them and then we'll be right back. I said, Okay. Mm. so they go in and they they get the room and me and this guy were in the car and we're talking I was in the driver's seat he was in the passenger um first he's making small talk with me right no big deal being decent <clears throat> and then all of a sudden he uh well, you know, just like, hey, do you come to Vegas often? And I'm like, have you lived here often? Because he lived there. And then my friend and her and those two guys come walking out. And they start walking upstairs and she's waving me on. And she's like, um, she's like, we're going to go get the room. Uh, we'll be right back. And I said, okay. So then the guy next to me, he sees, you know, them go upstairs and like disappear. So I'm like sitting there with this strange man. I don't know him. Never met him. And then all of a sudden he starts being extremely inappropriate with me. And he starts saying crazy shit. And I'm just like, what? Well, one of the things he said... He's like, um, you know, when they come back and they, and they come back with the room, he goes, I'm going to do this and this to you. You guys can't see that soup. It's potatoes and meat and stuff. And, um, oh, so good. So then, and he was being very detailed about what he wanted to do. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> no. And he goes, oh yeah. And he started giving like explicit details. And I started laughing because that's what I do. When I, when I get uncomfortable, I start laughing. I don't cry. I don't yell. I just start laughing. So I just start laughing. 
And then he, um, he's like, oh, it's going to happen. He goes, you just wait. He goes, and, um, he's like, if you don't want it to happen, it's going to happen anyways. And at this time, you know, we lived in Utah and we just came from living in Wyoming. So I have a 40 Glock in my console. Um, instantly that popped in my head. I'm like, well, <laughs> this dude tries to get crazy on me. I do have a gun and it's loaded and he doesn't even know about it. So I was thinking of the gun and then I was thinking, of course, of the Lord. I'm like, the Lord's here with me. He's not, he's not going to let anything bad happen to me. Mmm. A bread and the soup is so good. So, my friend and, and those two guys never came back down. I'm like, what the heck's going on? And this guy is like being inappropriate. I'm like, I'm done. So, then he, he's like, it's okay if you don't agree to it. He's like, uh, we have some party favors that'll make you agree to it. Like, you know, he's like, we got weed, we got crack cocaine, we got beer, we got liquor. <laughs> Basically, he's telling me I can either take it or leave it, but it's going to happen. So, I have my phone in between my legs, right? And I hit my phone with my thumb and I look down. And it starts lighting up because, you know, I made it light up. And I go, oh, hold on a second. And I took a phone, a phantom phone call. And so I'm like, hello. And I'm making this whole conversation up like, what? Are you serious? Really? You're here? You know, like stuff like that. And he's like looking at me and he was just all, hmm, you know, what, what was going on? And so I put the phone down. I said, oh my God, I can't wait. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. And I hang up and I turned to him and I go, you're not going to believe this. And he's like, what's up? Who is that? You know? And I said, hey, this guy was like already on drugs or something. This is how you got to think. You got to think uh, very smart ladies when you're in a situation like this. I said, that was my two best friends. And they actually wanted to surprise me because they knew I was going to be here and they're at the airport and they want to be picked up right now. He was like, really? I said, yeah. He goes, are they as hot as you? I said, they're way hotter. And he goes, he's like, F yeah. He goes, okay, well, let me, I'll go with you. You know, and I was like, no, 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 no. I said, I'm going to go. You go up there and tell my friend that um, I, I'm going to the airport to pick up so-and-so my two friends from so-and-so you know whatever he's like oh yeah 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 okay he goes I'll be waiting oh this is gonna be a good night and I was like show sure is I said party time oh. <laughs> he's all getting all excited and he gets out of the car and he goes I'm gonna see you in a minute baby and I said you're sure right you are yes you are and so he shuts the door um I said tell my friend I'll be back in like 15 minutes so, he's like flying up the stairs and I take off. <laughs> then, me and my friends have a code. Like, the code is, if you're ever in a, in a situation where, you know, something bad's going to happen or you need to get out of it, you text or you call 911 to your friend or to whoever you're with. So I pull, I pull out of the parking lot and I, t I text her 911, get down here now. I circle the block. I go back and she, she saw the text and she got up and she told the guy, she's like, hey, I'm going to get a bucket of ice because um, my friend's going to bring um, some more liquor. So like, okay. So while they weren't looking, she grabbed her purse and she like just like ran out with the ice bucket. And as soon as she saw the stairs, she, she threw the ice bucket. It started rolling down the stairs and she starts flying down the stairs because she knew it was not good. So,
<sighs> so she comes and she gets in the in the car and she's like she's like oh my god are you okay what happened everything okay I said now yeah, well, it's fine now but and I told her I explained to her what happened and she she couldn't believe it she was like so upset she started crying she's like it's all my fault I shouldn't have left you there I was with him and she, she kept crying crying I'm like oh my god bitch you're drunk shut up it's okay nobody got hurt damn <laughs> I'm the same way though when I get drunk I turn into a ball bag <laughs> anyway so we hightail it uh, back to uh, my aunt's house and I was like you know what <laughs> I said that's never happening again we're never doing something stupid like that again I always choked me I'm going strong. So good. Anyway, I just want to tell you guys that 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 was a very scary situation for me. Um, I refuse to go to their house because it's a stranger's house. But you know, then again, it's not really different going into a motel room with strangers. I mean, come on. But I was already drinking, and you make dumb choices when you're drinking, so. But uh, you, <clears throat> you have to be very careful, especially if you're a female in a situation like that. But I thought, I thought fast and I thought cleverly, you know, to make him think that he's getting two more girls to invite to the party. Shit. <laughs> Not. And when a person is already, like, you know, anyways, under the influence of drugs or alcohol, you can pretty much do anything, think of anything uh, ahead of them. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> I bet he was super, super pissed when he, we never showed up and he came outside and was like, what's going on? And we never showed up. Oh my God. How scary is that? Mm. Anyway. <clears throat> I ain't the one. Uh-uh. I don't care how good looking the dude is, how, you know, charming he is. No. If you got that gut feeling that you have, you know, that the Lord gives you, no, something's not right. Something's going to happen that you're not going to want to happen. So, mm. that soup is so good. sausage and potatoes in it that's what it is I'm getting full mm. Mm. sure was good though <clears throat> Anyways, how is everyone? Yeah, so let's just say me and my friend. Um, mm. 
Mm. We're going to go back to the strip by ourselves for the rest of the time because those guys live there. And if they were to saw us again, who knows what happened. They were probably so pissed off that <clears throat> I probably would have killed us, you know? You never know. They spent the money in that hotel and we just take off. Yeah, so. I also have a shout out to do and this is what I didn't want to forget because <clears throat> as I was just about to do this video I was like uh, preparing my meal for my family you know and, and cooking them dinner and then I had did this but I was getting on YouTube you know and I was just checking out the scene while I was keep trying to kill time before I started doing this and I noticed that these YouTubers, excuse me, that I'm subscribed to, I love them to death. They just put out a new video and I was like, oh, every time I see their video, I click on it. Cause I'm like, yes, they uploaded. So I was watching their video and shockingly, they were talking about me and giving me so much love and gave me a little shout out. And I was like, oh, this was not even expected, but. <sighs> I want to tell you guys, their name is C-Squad, and I mentioned them in a video before, but um, they're amazing, and I love them to death, and they're like family to me, and you guys should go over there and check their channel out. I'm going to link it, link it, <laughs> link it in the description below. Um, you guys go visit their channel. And check them out. You're gonna love them. I promise. They're a married couple. They have an adorable son. I do my bongs. They do vlogging, and their editing is like ridiculously amazing. Like it puts my editing to shame. And they're so funny. C Squad. It's C and then Squad. The capital letter C. Love them to death. They are a part. Definitely a part of my family. So, anyways, oh, sweet Jesus, I can't do it. I ate all my soup, almost all my salad, and there's two breadsticks left. I love all of you guys each and every one of you hope you have a nice blessed evening night day wherever you're at or whatever it is for you and um i will see you guys in the next video take care and i love you all bye